Welcome to Contacts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the net present value when you are given constant or even cash flows using the financial calculator, the HP10B2+. Plus. Now, we have done a similar lesson to this using the same calculator where we calculated the net present value when we were given non-constant cash flows. In fact, you can calculate the constant cash flows the exact same way we did when we had non-constant cash flows. But I'm going to show you a quicker way to calculate the net present value when you're given constant cash flows using the same calculator. Now you've done the exact same lessons using the tables. So if you'd like to check them out as well as the theory behind the net present value, you'll find the links to those lessons in the description below. So there are two ways you can calculate the net present value when you have constant cash flows using the same calculator. And I'm gonna show you both ways, but I'll begin with the way that I prefer. So let's read. We're told that a company is considering investing in a project and wants to know whether it should accept it. The cost of capital for the company is 10%. The initial investment is 15,000 Rand. The cash flows are as follows. And you can see the cash flows from year one to year four is 5,000 Rand. It's exactly the same for all the years. That's what you mean when it's constant or even cash flows. And then we are asked based on the net present value, should the company accept the project? Now we know the theory behind the net present value when it's positive, we accept the project. When it's negative, we reject the project. So let's calculate it. How do we do this? Well, let me show you the first way. And before we do that, we make sure we clear our cash flow memory. You can just press the blue button and then you press here, it's written C, and then you press zero and you can see cash flow clear. We've cleared our cash flows, whatever calculation you would have done before. And then another thing that we note with this calculator is that by default, it's compounded 12 times per year. So we need to change that to one time per year in order for us to do our calculation. So for you to see that it's actually 12 times, you just press the orange button and then you press C and you can see it appears there 12 times per year or 12 compoundings per year. So we need to change that to one. How do you do that? Just press one and then you press the orange button and then you press here where it's written PMT. You can see under it is written P slash YR and now we've changed it. If you want to confirm, you just press the orange button again and press C and you can see it appears there one per year. And now that we've done that, we can do our calculation. The initial investment is 15,000 Rand and we know that we put that as a negative. So I'm going to press 15,000. And then I press here, it's written plus slash minus, just to put it as a negative. You don't press the minus sign here. You just press the plus slash minus and you see that the negative sign appears before the 15,000 Rand. And then we press here, it's written CF with a small J and that has put our cash flow at year zero. The next thing that we need to do is to put our cash flows and you can see it's 5,000 Rand for all the years. So we just press 5,000. And then before we press CFJ, we press input and then we put the number of years. We know that it's for four years, so we just press four. Once you've done that, you just press CFJ and you've put all your cash flows that you needed to put. That's why it's very easy when you have constant cash flows. The next thing that you need to put is your percentage, which is 10%. So I press 10 and then I press here, it's written I slash YR. And now that I've done that, I just need to press the orange button and press here, it's written PRC. You can see under it is written NPV. And there we have just calculated our net present value. It's 849 Rand. 33 cents. And what do we say about that? We say that the company should accept the project because the net present value is positive. Now that's the first way of calculating the net present value and you have constant cash flows using this calculator. Let me show you the second way of doing it. So let me press the orange button and press C just to clear my memory. And then I can begin. The number of years is four. So I press four and then I press where it's written N. And then the interest rate is 10%. So I press 10 and then I press the I slash YR. And then the next thing that I put is the cash flows, which is 5,000 Rand, which is constant. So I press 5,000. But then this time I put it as a negative. So I press plus slash minus and then I press PMT. Why did I put it as a negative? Because I want my PV or my present value to appear as a positive because they have opposite signs. And then I press PV and that has given me 15,849 Rand, $0.33. And then the last thing that I do, I just deduct the initial investment of 15,000 Rand. So I press minus 15,000 and then I press equals and you can see it gives me the exact same net present value, 849 Rand, $0.33. But I prefer the first method. So you can see which one you prefer and which one you're comfortable with. I hope it has made sense. I hope you have gained value. And if you have, press the subscribe button, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.